I don't have an intro. This is my intro. You know what the video is, so let's start. This is my boyfriend. Hello, I'm Chris. Wait, I shouldn't introduce myself yet. No. This is intro. Okay, let's redo, redo. No, no, it's fine. Let's no, no, redo, redo, redo. Yes. redo. I don't have an intro, so this is my intro. You know what the video is, so let's start. This is my boyfriend. What's your name? I just to introduce myself now. Yes. Okay, hello everybody. I'm Chris Campanelli. Uh, I went to school with Wait, today. no, you don't need to definitely You don't need to definitely It's okay. I'm Chris. Okay. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. The first question is, what's your favorite song? And you can go first. No, you go first. You're the one that has the answer. <laughs> I don't have a favorite song, but um, when it comes to favorite artists, for R&B, it would be Luther Vandross, Sam Smith, The Weeknd, and Bruno Mars. And then when it comes to rap, it would be 21 Savage and Future. Okay, so I definitely don't have a favorite song, but I'd say my favorite artist is either J.I.D. or Mac Miller. But if I were to rank like my top five artists of like skill wise, probably Kendrick, then J. Cole, then J.I.D. Wait, no, I'm surprised by that. I actually then Andre, Andre 3K. Yeah. You call him Andre 3K? Why not? <laughs> That's crazy. I've never heard of Andre 3K. That's a really hard question. I could talk about all the rappers that I think are very skilled or my favorite rappers forever. When it comes to like other genres, I like um, like Motown is probably my second favorite genre. I should have watched that special. I could talk about this stuff forever. <laughs> Let's just move on. Okay. The second question is, well, it's not a question, but it says, please give me pickup lines that always work and they don't work. So I'm not going to do that because they don't work. Right? Yeah, I would say pickup lines don't really work unless it's a very specific situation. So how I always did it was I would sort of like relate every pickup line to the exact scenario that I'm in. So like if I was at a party, like a, like a Halloween party or something like that, like I remember one time I went to a Halloween party, I saw a girl, I liked her costume, but I remember I saw like people in it before, like other women in that same costume. So I went up to her and I said, um, I love her. Uh, oh, oh, girl. Hell, oh. I said, I've seen a lot of women in that costume that you're wearing, but you're the best looking in it. Or you're like the finest in it, oh something like that. God. So like, it's so like, it, oh brother, this guy stinks! It's like, it's like, you know, like I'm almost, yeah. it's almost like a back and forth. You know, what I'm saying like I've seen women in your costume before, but you look the finest in it. You know, it's like that <laughs> little, it's like that push and pull that really gets women. But either way, next question. Ain't that so trifling, y'all? <laughs> that he knew I was out here, and when he talked to other women. Anyway, <laughs> the next one is how did you meet? All right, I got you. How did we meet? So I was scrolling through Snapchat one day and we're in like a, a grad or a class of 2023 group chat on Snapchat. And she posted a Halloween party and I clicked on her profile. I saw she was cute. So I was like, let me just go have fun. You know, spit a little game on her. So I pulled up with my friend and I saw her and I just went up to her and I'm like, <laughs> and you're like, oh, you're Chris, right? And I'm like, yeah, you're fake, right? And that's, that it's all history from there, yes. you know? The craziest part <clears throat> is that we almost didn't meet because I was going to cancel a party like an hour before it started. I didn't want to have that party at all. But yeah, I didn't. And, yeah. and here we are. I guess it lined up perfectly for her. For me, it was just like a win decision. I was like, I'm just gonna go say hi to her. That's she's crazy, pretty. but because I remember you said like, uh, you didn't really check that snap story that much. Mm -mm. No. So that's crazy. Like, if y'all knew like the full story of how we met, y'all be like, 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. But that's like way too long. <laughs> but anyway, the next one is introvert or extrovert. Alright, I'll answer this. She's definitely introverted, and I'm definitely But guess extroverted. what? This is a couple's Q and A, so I get to answer it. No, too. it's okay. It's okay. I, I got all of these. I got all of these. She's extremely yeah. introverted. She's very introverted, but she's not shy. So like, she says what she thinks, and. Yeah, let's look into one of the questions later on. But she's not like, mm, you know what? I'm <laughs> what? <laughs> she's not like a little. Uh, she's not like a a big. <laughs> she's not shy. She says what's on her mind, but at the same time, she's introverted and she's a good listener. So I'm extroverted. I'm not the best listener. I'm working on it. I like to talk. Um, but at the same time, like, yeah, this gets into the, one of those questions down there. The listener, the, yeah, yeah, okay. Anyways, next question. You know, it's crazy. Hmm. They were asking both of us. They got the answer. They got the answer for both of us. What do you mean? What do you think? Are you going to say something different than me? How am I introverted? Just because, like... It's your personality. What you, like... Your personality is introverted. So we talked about this before. You know how you said that... When you're around people, it sort of drains your energy yeah. and you get tired. Because it's just like... It's not, it's not like that for me. When I'm around people, it gives me energy. Me being in their presence, I get like energetic from like, it. Like, I like going out. I know you do. I don't like people. I know you do. You're not shy. You're not like antisocial. But being introverted is like, it's deeper than that. Trust me, I know you're introverted. I know you are. Okay? Come on, move on. Your favorite hobby. What's my favorite hobby? What's his favorite hobby? Y'all, his favorite hobby is eating. Because he fat. <laughs> like. What the hell? Because he fat. I, I could have said that about he you. Be, no, That's he, so much truer about finish, you. He'll finish his plate and start picking on my plate. That's you. What the? How are you just gonna flip the rolls on us? What? No, we're like redoing no, no, this question. Anyway, no, anyway, we're scrapping this. Favorite. His favorite hobby is riggedy riggedy rapping. Yes, sir. What's my favorite? Next question. Hello. Next question. Hello. Next question. What's my favorite? Next question. Hello. What's, What's your favorite hobby? Favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Favorite hobby is being a pain in the ass, Ooh. but I don't even know that bullshit with me. Okay? I want to hear because you with the wrong one. I ain't got time for that. Okay, you better talk to her before I do because I'm already feeling that's up. Ooh. It's okay. I love you for it. Uh oh, anyway, anyway, yeah. don't hate me. You gobble. Can I move on to the next question? Yeah, let's go. Um. Your favorite movie? I have two favorite movies. It's The Wizard of Oz and Rockabye Baby. Rockabye Baby? Yeah. I remember you told me that, but I haven't seen it. Nah, we'll watch it. Well, my favorite movie we watched together is Avatar 2. That's a, it's a you good gotta movie. You gotta see it. If you haven't seen that, you know what to do. They were, that was a good movie. That was a great movie. That was, that was a good movie. <laughs> But the next question is biggest regret, and he said he says he has no regrets. I don't have regrets. He like, has no regrets. I have no regrets. I, I have like this philosophy of life that anything that happens to me or anything that I make happen to me is part of me. Like it's part of my self development. So when something bad happens, there's I don't believe in mistakes. God doesn't make mistakes. In this universe, things come to me. And I attract things that I may not want in the moment, but at the end of the day, it's all for me. It all happens for me. And it's the same thing for all of us, I believe that. So, yeah. So he has no regrets, y'all. My biggest regret. Mm. No, I should have thought about that. Oh, it's um, being mean to this boy in middle school who had a crush on me. And then later on, we found out that he had cancer. 
and like mm. I never got to apologize for being mean because like he wasn't he was like strange but he didn't do anything to me I was just like I was just mean like, yeah I remember you told me about that yeah you do feel really bad I do that. I feel terrible like mm. let's move on anyway <laughs> have you ever cried at school Stop. Tell your story. No. Tell your story, Faith. No. She has an amazing story she's about to tell you guys. No. It's hilarious. Chris, have you ever cried at school? It's hilarious. Chris, it's have hilarious. You, Chris, have you ever cried at school? Yes. So I do remember one time I cried at school because I was, I think, in first grade. It was either first grade or kindergarten. And one of my friends was like, hey, pull that red thing it was a fire alarm oh no. and so it says pull on it right it says pull on it so i'm thinking i'm gonna pull it <laughs> so i go up and i pull it and let me tell you the principal flaming bitch wow. she <laughs> screamed in my face and made me feel like the devil she was like you're the you're the worst boy like i have like i have like a traumatic image like a video of her screaming at me in my head and i'll never forget it it was so traumatic like it was so traumatizing did you tell your parents what she said yeah my dad hated her that's what saying, they should have yeah no my I dad really her hated day. her she was she was an evil girl for real she made me feel like the worst person ever All for that, that. yeah All that. and then the fire department came and they were like okay so that lever you know not to pull now. Yeah, that's how that's she how she should have reacted it. exactly. So yeah. I do remember crying now when she was screaming at me. But besides that, I don't believe so. All right, you go. You should find her. You go now. And put her. You go now. You go now. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Your turn. Do it. I've never cried at school, so we're gonna move on. You're to such a capper. Tell your story. She has the most hilarious story. It's not hilarious. I was so sad. Okay, 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 okay. It was like, I think it was like kindergarten or first grade too. Oh my God. We had a bathroom in our classroom and we weren't allowed to go to the bathroom unless like we asked the teacher to go. And one day... <laughs> She's the cutest person no. ever. Listen to the story. One day, the teacher was, like, on her phone, and I really needed to pee, but, like, I didn't want to interrupt her phone call, because that's rude, <laughs> and so I was waiting for her to get off the phone, but I really, really had to So pee. she was just standing there with her hand raised? Yeah, I was just sitting there with my hand raised, because I had to pee, but she didn't notice because she was on the phone, and so I just ended up, oh my god. <laughs> She peed right there. I just sat She at held my it desk. in. She held it in because she didn't want to interrupt the phone call. So she was such a good girl. She sat there with her hand up until she literally couldn't hold it in anymore and it came out. Yeah, and I just <laughs> peed on myself at my desk. That's adorable. That is so and cute. then the crazy thing is after, because I was crying, obviously. <laughs> and I was like, my mom came and picked me up. And then she talked to me. She's like, Faith, you're one of my best students. It's okay, you could have went to the bathroom. And she was just making me feel better. <laughs> feel better, but like, I should, why didn't I just go to the bathroom? Like, you, it was you right You were such there. a good girl. Was, you were just too good of a girl. Period. That's why. <laughs> and nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> But anywho, <laughs> she. Uh... We're gonna go to the next question because that's crazy. Oh, this one is for you. What's the meaning of life? Okay, ready? I'm gonna break it down really simple for you. Okay. The meaning of life is to find your meaning in life. Mm. Preach, bishop. Because nobody can tell you what your meaning is. Whatever your passion is, whether it's creating, for me, I feel like I'm a creator, so I want to create things. So, like, for me, like she said, I rap, so I make art, I sing, I'm a songwriter. I love to create things, and I believe, like, that's truly my, 
goal here on earth. Like that's my passion. But everybody has a different passion. Some people believe they need to change the world. And if that's your goal, then put act, make action. Don't just sit there and think about it. Get out there and act on it. And that's just, that's the only way you can make progress and feel like you've lived a meaningful life. When you're on your deathbed and you're sitting there, you're not gonna think about the thoughts you had. You're gonna think about what you actually did. Yes, sir, this nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. And that's, that's all there is really to it. And that's all there is to it. Yep, yep, yep. Have y'all ever dated outside your race slash ethnicity before? Christopher? I've dated, I think, Openly every... Openly admit. I've definitely dated every race, but, like, there's so many ethnicities. But I've dated, like, Asian, Indian, African, or Black, and White, and who about you? But I haven't actually committed to all of them, of course. Like, they weren't all my girlfriends. But, um, you know, like, I've dated them. What about you? No. You have, no, you have with... dated. You have dated. <laughs> we have different definitions of dating. Okay, so to me, dating means dating. To her, dating means being in a committed relationship. Yeah, if I say we're dating, that means you're my boyfriend. But to him, that means, like, you're that... going on dates. You're dating. <laughs> dating means dating to me. There's just, that's just how it is. I mean, I don't know. I understand that most people believe what she does. Like, if you say we're dating... That means like you're committed to each other. You're like on the stage of getting married. But to me, dating means dating and being, a being in a committed relationship means being in a committed relationship and that's just how it is. But to me, I've had two girlfriends. The first one was a Korean girl and now her, she's obviously African. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell, you can't tell. So yeah. And you... Okay, okay, what, okay. What I've had boyfriend? Um, one boyfriend before Chris, and he was black like me. I've gone on dates with boys of different flavors. And boys of different flavors have talked to me, blah, blah, blah. White boys, Middle Eastern, <laughs> Asian, all that, yeah. Okay. That's it. I just... That's it. Ooh, I am disgusted. Cause, cause, cause what? Okay, cause what? Okay. Um. This person is racist. She's what? extremely racist. No, just so you guys know. No one, cause no. I'm not talking. No, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about not not yesterday. I'm talking about something. Else. Do you know what I'm talking no. about? No. What are you talking about? Okay, I'm sorry. Anyways, okay. What is, Next question. What is, our, what is our favorite thing about each other? Okay, my favorite thing about her is 100% her open-mindedness. This is one of the most open-minded people I've ever met. And that's like the number one thing that I look for in a partner. Because if you're not open-minded, you're never going to change. You're always going to live in cycles. And the more open-minded you are, the more open you are to the truth and the closer to the truth you're eventually going to get. Of course, if you're open-minded, you're going to eventually accept falsities. But if you're open-minded, then you will eventually iron them out and you'll come closer to the truth than somebody who's closed-minded and stuck in their own culture and stuck in everything that their society tells them. What about me? You can't know the equipment. I got a couple hundred thousand things. That's my favorite, to be honest. I don't know. That's hard to think, like, one specific mm. thing. But mm, you are... How should I put this? You're like the exact opposite of like what I had before that I didn't know what I wanted or needed mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in like the best way possible. Just like Yeah. No, I can see that. So she's told me a lot about her ex and that makes a lot of sense because I think really we don't know what we want until it's in front of us, until we see it. And that's why a lot of people go through a lot of partners because they don't really know what they want. So they have to like experience somebody with these and they sort of like combine everything that they liked about all their partners and then they put that into their search for their next partner. Um, I think like you told me, you think that I'm what your ex wanted to be. 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that makes sense that you think that, okay, yeah. Me, but that's not really a compliment. Me, I, I think this man perfect. I think you perfect. <laughs> I think you're perfect too. What the fuck is that? Oh wow. Oh wow. Alright, next question. Next question. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, favorite date. Ooh, my favorite date. Step back, give me space. My favorite date is that he took me to what was it called? The zoo lights? Yeah. Yeah, the zoo lights up here in Lansing. <clears throat> And like it was dark and they had all the lights hanging up and we had these like magic glasses <laughs> <laughs> and it made all the lights it was it wasn't like 3D like how would you describe it? So I forgot what the actual lens is called, but they're glasses that basically make all lights look like rainbows. I'm sure you guys have seen it before. Yeah, I'm sure y'all know what we're talking about. But it like it also takes the light and it like it like, it's like kind of like 3D. Kind of like 3D. It like shoots it past all of your vision. Yeah, yeah. And so it was very hard to see things. And because it was nighttime as well with all the lights, it we, was were like, just, we were just walking, walking through around. a wonderland. Like, we were walking so around weird. like clinging on to each other, trying not to hit people. Yeah. We looked like doofuses, I swear. <laughs> but that was my favorite because like it was really cute. And that was a really fun day. It was, was a good activity. That was my favorite. That was just fun. And I still have the glasses to this day in my room. And that date was like in like what, December. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still got the glasses. And I'm going to keep them. All yeah, the that was definitely my favorite date too. I know my son could cop out, but that was just the best <sighs> day. That was the <laughs> best day. That was like, I think our second date or third date. It was like a third date. It was like our third date. And so like everything was new. We were still learning about each other. And that was fun because I think I kind of realized like how fun of a person you are. Just like, I'm always gonna have a good time with you, you know? Mm-hmm. That's right. But we have a lot of good days coming up. That's for sure. That's right, that's right. <laughs> when did y'all know y'all were for each other? Oh, you gonna let me go first? Okay, okay, okay. So at first, okay, when I first met him, uh, I was I just thought he was fine, obviously, but um, I was just trying to like figure out like what kind of guy he is, and so you know what I'm about to say, but uh, sure. yeah, yeah. So I was just trying to figure out what type of guy he was, and then so one day I came to his apartment. And I don't remember what we were doing at first, but somehow we ended up um, like listening to music. And then I showed him Luther Vandross for the first time. And we like just laid on his bed and played music. And just like the way he was responding and everything like that, that let me know that like he had a love for music as much as I did. And I've never met someone like that before, like outside my family. And I was just like, that really changed the way I looked at him for sure. Mm -hmm. I was like, ah. yeah, she got me hit to Luther Vandross because I've heard like maybe one or two songs by him, but I didn't know who he was. And when she played him for me on our speakers, and we were, like in my room, we have like lights, and I would we were just both laying in the bed just listening. This is before I even kissed her. True state. Um, and actually speaking of like in that moment, I was like going through my head like how can I make a move? But <laughs> I never did that night. I never did that night. And so I was just appreciating the music and that sounded godly to me. That night I remember I was just like blown away by him and his voice and everything. I was playing a uh, superstars. Um, it's also called like Until You Come Back. And it was like the nine minute version. Yeah. Y'all yeah. gotta listen to that. Like Yeah, that's divine. He's that's on a, a divine different song. level. But yeah. When I saw that, I was like, yeah. So when did I know she was for me? Okay, so it there was never a moment when I knew she was for me, I'm gonna be honest. It was really more like, over time, I started taking her more and more seriously because she started showing me she's, the, she's like a relationship material. So on our first date, our first real date, because I had met up with her twice before, like, I remember I met her at her party, mm -hmm. and then after that, I like tried to take her to a Halloween party. It ended up not working. We just talked in the car for a little bit. But 
uh, the next uh, the next time I saw her, I actually took her out on a date, like to eat, and I was talking to her, and I just knew like, but because I was asking her the real deep questions, you know, I go right into it. I don't play around. I don't play around with like where you're from, where you're high school. Business. I go right into like the deep questions. What do you look for in a man? You know, stuff like that. And the way she was answering, I could just tell she's a mature woman. She's not for the street, stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, I could tell like I was going to give her a chance. And then, then I just started learning more about her, like stuff like she's a gamer girl, like a real gamer girl, a real gamer girl who actually knows about her game, stuff like that. I used to be a gamer guy. I used to be a professional gamer. No, you had to plug that. I had, I had, to, I had, to, I had to. You had to plug that in there. And so, like you know, I always respect a gamer girl, especially one that looks like this. I mean, how could I not? And so I remember on our next day we went to her place, and we were playing Resident Evil. Yeah. And we like had some wine. We were just chilling. That was a good time. That was a good time. And she just made me feel so comfortable. So going back to uh, like what I like the most about her, definitely one of the things at the top was how comfortable she makes me feel. I'm never like the type of guy to get like too nervous around women, but being comfortable is like a different type of thing. It's like, I just know whatever I do, she'll accept it. She's the most accepting woman. She's so like nurturing, calm and comforting that it just makes me want to be around her and be in her presence because not only is she a great friend, but she's just like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain. She's just a girlfriend. She's just a girlfriend. You can tell. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I'm hyping you up. <laughs> <laughs> he makes me comfortable too like when I met him I because I think like people say this all the time like oh I'm like weird and stuff like that but <laughs> I do think I'm a little weird and I would have never expected him to be like a strange boy too and like so I feel like I could just be myself with him completely and like even if he does look at me sometimes like what <laughs> he's like he still likes me or whatever so yeah you know? <laughs> i like her weirdness i'm definitely very strange she says no, he's strange. she says oh, he's not weird he is strange no, that's and that's big real fact. that's real <laughs> that's <big fact. laughs> that and he makes me feel safe so yeah emotionally and physically so all right move on let's go okay so first of the question is you single Yes. <laughs> yes, Shut I am. Shut up, babe. Shut up, babe. Yes. Yes, I am. Because it's just like... Like, what are you asking? You asking the Q&A me... was for a couple's Q&A. Like, he says, are you single? When you asking a dumb question, I gotta give a dumb answer, you okay. know? Okay, <laughs> What's your favorite food? That's... Mm. It, for she the got longest... too many. She got too many. This female is fat. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this woman is fat. You can't see it on the inside. She's a fat bitch. She's a fat woman. What? She's what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've been told I have big girl energy. Fat girl energy. They said 100%. big girl. I'm saying fat. Fat girl. Fat, fat girl energy. Okay. Same thing. Answer the question. What's your favorite food? My favorite, I'm Italian. My favorite food is, it's called Strato Pitte. It's an Italian pasta. It has like a creamy tomato, like spicy sauce. And it's not too spicy though. And sausage, and I forgot the type of pasta it is, but it's perfect. She's had it before. She I just know it is really good, yeah. but I just realized I didn't even say my favorite food because you were too busy. <laughs> being I forgot, yourself, yeah, go, 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 go. Being yourself. Yeah. Well, the longest time has been pizza, but now it's ribs too. Ribs is definitely up there. I love me some ribs. Yes. Does it? Okay, but like. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, That's a solid answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and slushies, but that's like a drink. But those are like my. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. And this person asked for a drip check, 
For sure. Check that shit. Should we stand up and show them? Absolutely. Thing? Go first. <laughs> Too crazy to tell you know, just like you know. All right, stop pulling it. I'm not about to turn around. Not, you know, okay. I got this top from Windsor. <laughs> I got these shorts from Fashion Nova. So yeah, that's that's that. Oh wait, okay. wait, these socks. <laughs> the purple socks. These. Who knows? Gotta appreciate those. Who knows where they're from? I just got the all black fit on, you know, nothing crazy. You know, dude, you know, just and then slight. I got the UNC sixes on, you know oh, how it is. Know, just a you know how it is. Check them out. Yep. Don't cop my style though. Oh my I know you were thinking about cop. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna come for you. Oh god. <laughs> Y'all know what's crazy. This man think he's better than me. Cause he's the shoe game is better than you. No, shut up. The shoe game is better than you. I said because you're taller than me. The shoe game is better than you. You better talk to him before I do because I'm hurt of feelings. Next question. Chris. <laughs> Stuffer. <laughs> Christopher. Uh, this is all for you. Biggest red flags for a girl. He said, don't get me started. The biggest red flag. And you're not going to, you're not going to like this. Don't piss me off, Chris. Actually, no, you're not like this. You're not like this. The biggest red flag is when she's one of the bros in some group. If she's one of the bros, either that woman is extremely weird and not in a good way, or she's for the streets. Oh my so be careful God. of these women who are one of the bros in some friend group. It's usually not, not a good thing. But um, let me think. Oh, no right. red flags. That's that's that's. You give one, I give one. For girls or guys? For girls, I can give one for a girl. No, you can't. But okay, like, shut up. you're a woman. How are you gonna give a red flag for a? Don't you play know, with me right now. Right, okay, ahead. I think men. The biggest red flag for a girl is if she makes you feel insecure about being vulnerable. Like, if she's like, no, that's really you're too true. emotional. Yeah, exactly. That's way better than mine. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that's really the problem when you have people like this who are so delusional and hopping on cock. God damn, get off of him, bro. <laughs> if she's like making you feel weird because you're open with your emotions and all that stuff, then you know what I'm saying? Because, like, don't get me started because I know some girls who are like that who, like, put down guys like or they'll stop talking to a guy because like he's ex like like it don't even make sense that's very real you know that don't even make no sense. honestly like, like if there was something you can take from that question definitely take hers for sure of course that's real as hell like honestly a lot of these red flags that i have in my head i actually don't believe in red flags because um like i don't generalize women like that to like there's no one thing that's really like that's 100 percent. you should never talk to that woman but what she just said is definitely one of them. That's a real red flag. For me, a lot of it is, I, my first girlfriend was, when I say a demon, I'm not talking about like sexually. She was, what did he I, say? She was a demon for real. Like she was an evil woman, an evil woman. And so really how I think about it is like when a woman really reminds me of these red flags that she gave me, then I sort of start to get hesitant about continuing talking to her. But that was definitely one of them that I learned from her. So yeah, just listen to her advice on that. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? That you gave it or what? But yeah, you were yeah, like, you no, can't give job. it because it's shut up. That was really good. Shut that up, was really Chris. good. Do you prefer to speak or to listen? Okay, I prefer to speak, but that's yeah. not good. But that's yeah. not good. That's not a good thing. I've been learning recently, I say probably like five years ago, I really started to like go on a journey to become a better listener and not just speak because you sound like a fool when you speak all the time, especially on things you don't know about. So um, yeah, I've been learning a lot. I actually think it's way better to sit back and listen because you don't learn anything by speaking. You only learn by listening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I definitely prefer to speak too. But I'm also very open to listening. I had to learn to like listen to. So I prefer to speak, but I definitely will sit back and listen. But if I'm listening and you sound stupid, then I'm gonna speak. 
So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will say, she's a very, very good listener. She's a very good listener, so. But you are good at speaking and everything. But I honestly think you're a better listener. Like, you're really good at listening. I mean, like, you really listen to what I said, uh, and you come back with real... Oh, like, real, like, we can like, have an actual conversation. Yeah, we can have an actual conversation, <laughs> and you just... You really listen to what I say on a deep level. Right next. <laughs> have you ever cheated? You gotta be honest, lol. Physical, neither me and her have cheated. Physical and emotional. No, me and her, and neither of us have emotionally no. or physically cheated. We're really I'm not cheated. built like that. Could never be built like that. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, definitely not. And I think that it's a big thing in our society nowadays. Like, cheating is becoming more and more popular. Yeah. Anything toxic is more popular. Yeah, anything it's toxic. Anything it's really toxic a toxic society that we're heading towards, but yeah, no. Me and her have had long talks about cheating and what we think about it, and there's nothing good about cheating. There never has been and never will be. Don't cheat, people. Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Shame <laughs> on you. Because you can't fix your lips to say you love somebody and then, like... Yeah. Anyway, don't get us started. That was the last question, so we done. I hope y'all had fun. Did you have fun? I had a great time, yeah. Okay. Do if y'all want to see him back, let me know in the comment section. You said what? I said, help me. <laughs> so you didn't have to be with the rest of my time. Maybe you did. Okay.